Today we're going to demonstrate how to build a 10 foot scaffolding tower. Start by attaching your cross braces to your first set of scaffolding frames. Once the cross braces are attached using drop locks, you add casters to the bottom of each frame. These casters will fit on the inside of the frame leg and the casters have a hole that lines up with a hole in, at the bottom of the frame legs. And you can secure the casters to the frame legs by adding a toggle pin that will go all the way through the frame and then it will lock using the flip lock on the back side. These casters will allow you to move the scaffolding tower around as needed and the casters contain a locking mechanism at the bottom that you'll just lock each caster in place when you're ready to work on the platform. Make sure your cross braces are secured in place by the uh, drop locks on your scaffolding frames. In this case we had one that popped out. Add aluminum planks to the top of your first set of scaffolding and use this as your work platform to continue to build the scaffolding tower. Your second set of scaffolding frames will go on top of the coupling pins, which are located on the top of the original set of frames, and these coupling pins fit on the inside of the scaffolding legs. Connect the upper set of scaffolding frames together with cross braces in the same way that you connected the lower set of scaffolding frames, and make sure that once the cross brace goes over the, the connection pin on the frames, that the drop lock uh, falls down freely and isn't stuck. Next you want to add four guardrail posts to the top of the second set of frames. These posts will just attach right on top of the coupling pins just like the frames do. And once you get them in place you want to line up the holes at the bottom of the post with the holes that are in the coupling pins and connect the post to the pins with uh, toggle pins. After this, add your aluminum planks to the top of the second set of scaffolding and these planks are going to serve as your working platform for the scaffolding tower and they will be sitting at approximately 10 feet 8 inches high. Once your working platform is in place, you want to add your guardrails to the guardrail posts. And these uh, go into place in a similar way that the cross braces do, except they have a flip lock. So you put them over a pin, and then there's a lock that you manually uh, flip down to secure them in place. Uh, right here, there's uh, one guardrail that we couldn't get into place just because the overhead door track was in the way. So on this video, we're setting up seven guardrails instead of eight. And to fully enclose the scaffolding platform with guardrails, you're going to need two seven-foot guardrails on each side, so four total, and two five-foot guardrails on each end. The last step that you want to take is to install your gooser bar and the gooser bar just keeps the scaffolding platform a little bit more stable. It, it keeps the frames parallel to each other so they can't move independently as easily. And you put this bar in place on your bottom set of scaffolding and it goes diagonally from one corner post to the next corner post. Thank you for watching. And for more information about scaffolding tutorials and scaffolding products, you can visit swscaffolding.com.